Welcome back, this is Ractor. We're playing some more Tokyo Jungle. And this freaking hyena just spawned right the fuck here next to me after I just mated with that desperate mate that I had before. Luckily, I can one shot hyenas because they ain't no thing. I should just like be able to eat it, but instead, I'm just gonna stomp on its corpse. And of course, I shouldn't be able to eat it. By the way, you'll notice that, um, you'll notice something interesting. And the interesting thing is that I can remark these spots even though I just mated here. And that's because. Before I actually started recording, I was just kind of like hitting random buttons and somehow I accidentally used the bed. I know you're probably thinking to yourself, how did you accidentally use a bed? And I, in terms of all reality and whatnot, I don't know how I accidentally used a bed. I was just kind of like fucking around, hitting buttons. It's not like I've never played this game before and I don't know how the items work, but sure as shooting shit, I was just like fumbling around and the next thing I knew, I used my bed and I was like, shit, why did I do that? Oh, I didn't do that right. It's okay, we can still kill this wolf. But yeah, I, act I seriously straight up accidentally used my bed. It was really, really terrible. Probably one of the worst things I've done in this game in a while. Or at least, if not one of the worst things, one of the stupidest things I've done in this game in a while. Because as everybody knows, Beds are extremely useful. And look at this, what a great way to start off the episode. I am losing health due to hunger, so I better poison- Oh, now I'm losing health due to toxicity. This is really not going well at all for me. But anyways, my challenges are to find the convenience store plaza in Shibuya Woods, which is luckily where I am right now is in Shibuya Woods, but it's interesting. I don't think I've ever been in, um... I don't think I've ever had this challenge before. Like, I've played this game quite a bit, and this is one of those challenges where I just don't think I've ever had it. And look, now my life is double decreasing right now due to hunger and toxicity. I basically should just prepare for the worst and accept the fact that I'm gonna be playing as this other giraffe here in a second, which means I probably should make sure that this giraffe doesn't die. And look at those glitched out ass bones up there. Seriously, do you see those glitchy ass bones? I don't know what happened there. Something obviously died. But what's funny is, on top of dying, they also got eaten and somehow processed up in the air like that. So yeah, I'm heading for Convenience Store Plaza. Like I said, I don't really know where Convenience Store Plaza is, but it is my best guess that Convenience Store Plaza is over this way. So that's why I'm heading this way. Also, I've got a quest to eat a fruit. Oh dude, you know what? I can eat this fruit. This is a bad idea. I can eat this fruit, get full toxicity, and then waste this magazine. And now look, I'm all good to go again. I'm all shiny and new, but... I'm hoping that this is Convenience Store Plaza, but it looks like it's not. Which really puts me at sort of a bad place right now. Like I said, I've never... actually had the quest to find Convenience Store Plaza before. Oh, and look at here! We have some- oh, that was toxic. For some reason I thought that was not toxic. But yep, there, there goes my eat a fruit. What's really gonna be tough, I think, during this set of challenges is that I have to eat 3,000 calories. And... I just don't think it's going to be... very much of a possibility right now with the way things are going. Like, if I fail my challenges right now, it's gotta be really sad. Where's all the food at? That's the real question. Of course, there's no food in any areas that are even remotely close to me, so... I might be stuck eating poison food if I want to succeed here. Seriously, those bones floating in the air really make me chuckle. Like, I don't know why, I just really like the idea. I don't know if any of you ever saw the episode with the cow? There's like this episode where... Oh, there we go. This is Convenience Store Plaza. Well, that's perfect. Well, I don't really care about finding a mate right now. I should. Like, realistically... I should care about finding a mate, but I've only got seven years to eat 3,000 calories, so I'm more concerned with going, oh, and that's a great mate, but I can't mate with it anyway. So yeah, I'm much more concerned at the moment. Eat, fucking drink that, God damn it! I'm much more concerned with finding a place that I can get some food right now, since obviously Shibuya Woods is not that place, and time is running out. So... Sadly, the only other place that looked like it had- Oh, this place actually looks like it has a decent amount of food. I mean... It could be a mistake going over this way first, and in case you're wondering why it could be a mistake going over this way first... 
It's because the only way for me to get over here is to go, like, all the way around. Plus, there could be... Yep. Is that... No, it's not what I thought it was. Good. I was gonna say there could be lions over here, but they're not. They're just hyenas, and there are tosas, which is sort of shitty. In fact, I kind of wish that tosa would go after that deer right now. Holy fuck. But look at... Look at here. This is a treasure trove. It may very well have been worth it for me to come over this far. Oh yeah, and there's my rank up. Too bad that that sweet, sweet animal poon is not going to be there when I get back. Otherwise, that would be fantastic. Ooh, and now night falls. Well, at least I managed... Oh, there we go. Do you hear those sounds? The sweet, sweet sounds of battle are going on, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Yep, this is actually working out perfectly for me because these animals decided to go for that little gazelle, which is what I was hoping would happen. And then that way, A, I would not have to fight them, and B, yep, see, check that out. Yep, that little deer did its job well for me. It got those dogs to run all around, and I get out home free, scat free, with a bunch of food in my belly. By the way, have we gotten new f yep, I was about to say, it looks like new food has spawned here in this area, which is good for me right now. Because as you probably know, all I ever care about is challenges. And so as long as there's new food in this area, I'm a happy Raktar. Because it means I cannot die. Well, there's two great things about there being new food in this area. A, I can not die. And B, I can complete my challenges. But sadly, since it's nighttime and it's raining, the food isn't going to appear on my map. I really always get very sad when... Oh, did something see me? Oh, it did. And I have to kill it before it calls more. There we go. Cool. Oh, no, we have another one. Damn it. Oh, these sons of bitches. Two things calling its buddies around. Luckily, the giraffe is, I guess, a decent fighter. Not horrible fighter, although I am very worried about death. I've only got one giraffe in the pack right now. How did that hyena not die? Fuck that hyena. All right, Lycaon. All right, African wild dog. Prepare to get your ass handed to you by a giraffe. That's got to be embarrassing in front of the rest of your pack to be like, yeah, I got my ass handed to me by a grazer. But, I mean, in the real wild, if you're out on your own, I think usually, like, in the real African wild, one hyena wouldn't even fuck with one giraffe. Like, they'd be like, uh-uh, no way, girl. Ain't no way I'm gonna fuck with a giraffe because I may be a predatorial being but giraffes are definitely way larger than me. Like, usually they wait till I think they get a pack together, and then once they have their pack together, they're much more likely to go after a big beast like this. But I'm seriously... I hate it when it's nighttime and it's raining. Oh, oh, poison food. Well, whatever, dude. I need these calories. So this is probably the worst idea ever, but I think I've got an item on me. Okay, there's my calories. Cool. And now I can go unpoison myself with the water. So let's go down to the water, unpoison myself, and it's daytime. Unpoison yourself. Drink the drink the goddamn water. Oh, did I already drink this water while I was running past it? Oh, this could be really bad. Um, I can use a portable bed. A portable bed will significantly decrease my toxicity, but luckily we have another pool of water from which I can drink. Slightly lower my toxicity, maybe long enough to gain some health. Nope. I may end up using this portal to bed right here, because if I don't, it's very likely that I'm going to be totally fucked. But I think I already got all of my achievements, so... Yeah, okay. So we're going to use a portable bed again, this time not on accident. All right. Portable bed. Get some rest. I think that will, if I'm not mistaken, if the game ever makes me actually go to sleep. Come on, do what I hope... Do what I'm hoping and thinking you will do. Yes! Toxicity down to zero. Hunger completed. We're good to go. And somehow, I foolishly missed a mark. I don't know how I even managed to do that, but I missed a mark over here. I missed, like, the very first mark. That was very stupid of me, because I was... Like, right when I got here, I was like, okay, I'm probably going to mate in this zone. But then for some reason, I just decided, I guess, as I was coming past... Oh, by the way, I can hear... Can you hear that sound of evil? There is crocodiles. Dude, you can tell crocodiles because their teeth-gnashing sound is really weird. 
Like, crocodiles have, like, the teeth gnashing sound that sounds almost like, um... Don't do it. Oh, don't do it. There we go. Crocodiles have a teeth gnashing sound that is almost like metal. Like, I don't know who is picking out the game sound effects for this game, but I swear, when the crocodiles gnash their teeth, it sounds like two chunks of metal, like, smashing against each other. And when I very first heard that, I was like, oh no, Robo Crocodiles, which... I mean, this game does have Robo Dogs, so who's who's to say it would be surprising if it also had Robo Crocodiles? Like, I don't know. Maybe it could have Robo Crocodiles. Who really knows? Oh, and why does that have to be desperate? What kind of type of mate can I even get with right now? I'm a veteran. Whatever, I need, I need to mate. I don't want to mate with this Despy, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And... On that note, I am going to end this episode of Tokyo Jungle right here, but in the next episode, I will be continuing the giraffe journey. This has been Raktor. Thank you for watching.